Hi, um, this is my part one of my video series about the liver and gallbladder cleanse book by Andreas Moritz. Here's what the book looks like. It's a great book. I highly recommend it because it's working for me. Um, I'm in my fourth cleanse and I'm part two of my series. I'm going to go step by step on how to do the cleanse with my notes and um, in detail to help you. So right now we got we have some beautiful rain outside and thought it'd be nice to have that in the background too. So I left the curtain open. There's a little bit of a glare on there, but that's okay. And uh, this is my first time I've ever made a video like this, so I'm a little nervous, but I really feel like I need to do this because I want to share like this great information. So on this first video, which I have notes, I've made notes so I could do this. So you'll notice I'm kind of looking off to the side. I'm reading my notes so I can stay on track because if I don't, I'll just not be able to stay on track. <laughs> so, um, and uh, in this first video, I thought I would just talk about why I started the cleanse and what it has done for me. And then part two, like I said, would be the step-by-step -step instructions. And first off, I am not a doctor, and please be advised to see your doctor if you need to. Um, I went this route since I didn't have any health insurance, and because I feel that God gave me a gallbladder for a reason, <laughs> and so I kind of wanted to keep it. And I know I looked up videos and doctors would say, if you have gallstones, the only way to get them out is by surgery. Um, and so, you know, I started doing, well, actually, I'll tell you in a minute how I started in getting into this. Uh, and the way it started for me was just over the last few years, last three to five years, I would get sick every once in a while. Uh, and I would think it was just possibly food poisoning, but I really never exactly knew why I was getting sick. What would happen is, say, I would go to a fast food restaurant, and I'd wake up in the middle of the night and be very sick and nauseous. And um, sometimes it'd be worse than others. And this would happen, like I said, every once in a while. And then it started becoming more frequent, where I would get sick, uh, started you know let's say at first it was like once every three months and then it was once a month and then it was once every uh, two weeks <laughs> and last year I had my first gallbladder attack which was last May and I I didn't know what was wrong with me I thought I had the stomach flu I woke up in the morning, it seemed, I seemed fine, and then I had diarrhea, and immediately got very nauseous with a horrible headache, and uh, I was throwing up from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. in severe pain, and I had to have my mom come over to take care of my son because I couldn't function at all, and, um, and then from that time on the middle of the night episodes happened very frequently and then another daytime gallbladder attack at the end of last year maybe in the beginning of january then i was i just became chronically chronically ill where i could hardly i couldn't hardly eat anything at all without getting severely sick to my stomach uh so that's when it was january i text a friend of mine that I knew, uh, I know from church, and she is a doctor. She's actually a doctor in ER, and she's awesome. She might even see this video. <laughs> and uh, and I told her about my symptoms, and she she said you're either pregnant or you have gallbladder disease. And so to rule out the pregnancy, I had a pregnancy test done, and I wasn't pregnant. So. She said, you know, you definitely have gallbladder disease. And she said she had a friend that read this book, The Liver and Gallbladder Miracle Cleanse. And she said it helped her friend. And so she kind of, you know, recommended that because she knew it helped somebody. And she, she knew. 
So at first I thought, well, I'm going, well, she recommended that I change my diet for sure. Because I, I had gotten to the point where I just couldn't even eat. And I was losing a lot of weight and I was sick. So I, in the research I found, you know, to avoid the uh, bad fatty foods, especially fried foods. <clears throat> Also avoid dairy and caffeine and sweets. Let me get a drink of water. <clears throat> and the research I came across said to eat good fatty foods. For example, avocados, fish, chia seeds, extra virgin olive oil, flax seed. Those are the good kind of fatty foods. And I, so I decided, well I had to, I had to do this. Uh, I completely stopped eating fried foods, dairy, caffeine, and cut down on a lot of sweets. It's kind of hard for me to cut down completely because <laughs> I would, you know, I get a muffin and I know I'm going to suffer for it, but I would eat it anyway. And then I think, well, this really isn't worth it. <laughs> it's really not worth the pain. So I did avoid it most of the time. And even with this dramatic change in my diet, I would still have some pain with the gallbladder attacks. Uh, but the gallbladder, well, I didn't have gallbladder attacks. The gallbladder attacks did stop, which was great. But I still had pain eating pretty much most everything. Um, so uh, I think my body was just in total shock going from a very unhealthy diet to a really healthy one and I think it took some time to adjust and I was just a very sick person due to my gallstone my gallbladder being full of gallstones. And I I finally got the book and because I because I was just so sick and I was to the point that I had to either get get the book or look into surgery because I just couldn't I just couldn't live like that anymore. I just couldn't do it. So in March of this year I did my first cleanse and it was very rough getting through it because I was severely sick and um, I was having horrible headaches during it and had a mild case of gallbladder attack on day three of the cleanse but I knew I had to press on I just I had to do it and um, I think one time during the cleanse I thought I might need to go to the ER just because I just can't take this pain, you know, because my body was, during the cleanse, you, you, you know, you're you eating a vegan diet, you're drinking ma uh, a juice drink that has malic acid in it, and, uh, and then at the end, you do a colonics, uh, and, you know, it was just, you know, I, my body just couldn't hardly handle anything anyway. <laughs> But I wanted to see if it would work. So I needed some advice during the cleanse because I didn't know why some things were happening. And went on the Facebook page for Andreas Moritz. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. He's the author of the book. And asked some questions on there, hoping to get some answers, you know. And a really nice lady named Nita came to my rescue and answered my questions and even mentioned, uh, mentored me through the entire cleanse. She private messaged me through the entire week. <clears throat> so if Nita is watching, thank you so much for all you've done for me. I am forever grateful you are my angel on earth. <laughs> so I love you. I, and, you know, and she's just a complete stranger. She even lives in another country, but she's done the cleanse a lot. And she's there for me, and that's why I want to make the video to help others. <clears throat> and after the first cleanse, I felt some relief for the first time. <clears throat> and then after the second cleanse, even more relief and, and able to eat without pain. No more pain when I was eating. And that was just so awesome. You know, I was eating my healthy diet, and I was able to eat it without any pain. And I was getting healthy and feeling good. And um, after the third cleanse, which was last month, I felt so much better that I started eating some dairy, sweets, and caffeine again. 
but that's not such a good thing because now in the last week I've started feeling some pain again and even had an episode one night that I was nauseous and um, I just I think I pushed it too fast because I felt so good I wasn't being getting sick or anything and I thought hey oh maybe I could try to drink these lattes again <laughs> and maybe try some fries but my body was just it was my body's way of telling me hey you are pushing me too fast and you need to slow down and get back to eating healthy again so that's what I've been doing uh, the last um, week I guess and the, the book advises to keep doing the cleanse once a month until you have two consecutive cleanses that are free of stones which is usually the book says usually around eight or nine cleanses it, it takes about eight or nine cleanses which is eight or nine months you know you do it once a month so two times it has uh, has to be clean clean of stones no stones coming out and then from then on after you're clean of stones you do the cleanse once every six months just to stay clean of them you don't have those issues happen to you again um, and uh, since since I changed my diet and had three cleanses I've lost 24 pounds and feel healthier so I am really glad I made the decision to try the cleanse and sticking with it um, so highly recommend and please stay tuned for part two because I'm going to go through the process and share my tips and my notes with you and uh, it'd be awesome thanks